Major break in a decades-old murder mystery with potential links to Massachusetts. Five investigates first told you about the case of an unidentified young woman found beaten and killed her body left outside Baltimore. And now technology is providing critical new clues. Five investigates Karen Anderson has been tracking this case for years. She's back now with the new development tonight, Karen. Well, with DNA testing, detectives were able to finally identify the victim who had until now only been known as Woodlawn Jane Doe. They still don't have answers to possible links with Massachusetts, but they are one step closer to finding her murderer. So significant. This is a really big break in the case. After 45 years, the young woman known only as Woodlawn Jane Doe has a name. Margaret Federoff of Alexandria, Virginia. She was attending a secondary school there in the Virginia area. Margaret was just 16 when she disappeared. Her body was found tortured, drugged, gagged, and dumped near the Woodlawn Cemetery outside the city of Baltimore in 1976. In 2015, advances in testing brought detectives to the Boston area. High-tech pollen tests of her clothing found rare pollens that experts say were only found together in two places, the Arnold Arboretum in Jamaica Plain and a botanical garden in New York. A grass seed bag that was over her head was sold in just five stores, all in Massachusetts. And the young woman was carrying two keys, one labeled Fitchburg, that police say were manufactured in the Bay State. Detectives reached out to five investigates at the time to help generate leads in the case. Margaret's family says they last saw her a year before her death when she ran away. So we are interested as well in speaking with some of her classmates who may have known her, anybody who may have been friends with her that might be able to provide some information that led up to her death. And it is unclear how the evidence linked to Massachusetts could now figure into this new development and potential justice in this case. In the newsroom, Karen Anderson, Five Investigates. Karen.